Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a VPN. Now, I've tried out many different VPNs, and I've found that the top three, in my opinion, are going to be this one right here, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. So these are the three that I'm going to be working with and showing you how to set up. Now, the first step is going to be to go to the website of whichever VPN you choose. I'll talk a little bit later on about which VPN might be the best for you. If at any point you want to find out more information, there will be a ton of useful information in the description below. But let's say you wanted to try out ExpressVPN, you would go to expressvpn.com, click Get ExpressVPN, pick a plan, sign up, and download the application. For example, let's say you were going with NordVPN. Once you actually make an account and sign in, you're going to be able to go to the downloads page on the left hand side over here, and then you're going to see all the options for your download. So you can download NordVPN for Windows. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to see that you can download it on Android, iOS. You can get a browser extension. You can get it on desktop for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, pretty much any device. You can even put these VPN VPNs on your router if your router is compatible with it and that way you would just cover everything in your house. Now when we're talking about devices something important to know is that ExpressVPN can be put on up to eight devices per account, NordVPN can be put on up to 10 devices per account, and Surfshark is actually unlimited. You can put it on as many devices as you want with a single account. So once you have the VPN downloaded and installed you're going to have to sign in to the account. With Surfshark and NordVPN you're just going to to sign into the application with the username and password that you set up when you made the account and with ExpressVPN you're going to get a activation code and you're just going to have to put that code into the app on your device. And that's pretty much all there is to it. At this point, you're ready to go into your VPN. Let's say it's Express. You can just click on this location bar and a window will pop open with all of the countries and locations you can choose from. With ExpressVPN, you have 105 countries. With NordVPN, you have 165. And with Surfshark, you have 100. No matter which one you go with, even if it's Surfshark, which has the least at 100, you're pretty much going to be covered regardless of what you want to do. Even 100 countries is a ton of options to choose from. Now, in Express ExpressVPN, once you're over here, you would just click on one of these countries. So I can just click on Germany and I'll automatically connect. If we went into NordVPN, you actually have a map interface and you can search for different locations using the map and then select them from there. You also have a list though, if you want that on the left hand side and you can search for them as well. Now at this point, you're ready to start using the VPN, but there are a few settings that are good to know about if you want to make sure that the VPN is set up in the best possible way for you. And these are going to apply regardless of which one of these three VPNs you're using. So I'm just going to demonstrate here with ExpressVPN, you would go to the top left and you would select on options. And then this window is going to pop open over here. We can go to the general tab and you're going to see two things. You're going to see network lock and split tunneling. Now in NordVPN and Surfshark, the network lock is going to be called a kill switch, but they all do the same thing. They basically disconnect your internet if the VPN ever stops working. So if you want to make sure that there's never a chance your personal information or internet activity is going to be leaked out over the internet, you would want to have the network lock enabled. Another key feature is called split tunneling in Surfshark. This is called the bypasser feature. This allows you to choose exactly which applications you want connected to the VPN at any given time. By default, everything that you're doing is going through the VPN connection. But with split tunneling, you can actually choose for yourself. You can choose to make the default that nothing is using the VPN except what you want or the opposite. Everything uses the VPN and you just choose what you want to exclude from the VPN connection. Now, another thing that is good to know about these VPNs is all three of them have some sort of protection feature. I'm going to switch over here to NordVPN just to demonstrate with this one for a second. And this is sort of like a mini antivirus. It can protect you against malware. It can give you a browsing protection, showing you which sites are safe. And it also has an ad and tracker blocker. ExpressVPN's version of this is called Advanced Protection and Surfshark's version is called CleanWeb. Now, another feature that all three of these VPNs share, and let's do this one in Surfshark. We're gonna go here to the settings. We're gonna go to VPN settings and scroll down a little bit. There you see the kill switch and clean web, and then we see protocol. Now, without going into all the technical details, the protocol is how the VPN connects up to the internet. And all three of these VPNs are gonna have 
pretty much the same setup. You're gonna have automatic, where the VPN will choose the best one for you. You're gonna have OpenVPN, TCP, and UDP, which are both gonna be slower connections, but will be available across more networks. So these are the ones that you would probably wanna use if you're in a remote location or in a country with a lot of internet censorship, such as Iran or Russia or China. But all three of these VPNs are gonna have one protocol, which is the best and the one that you would ideally wanna be using. With Surfshark, it's called WireGuard. With NordVPN, it's gonna be called NordLynx. And with ExpressVPN, it's gonna be called Lightway. And there you have it. Those are the core features that you would want to know when you're first setting up a VPN. All three of these VPNs have more to them. There's more you can find out. There will be full in-depth reviews for each of these in the description below in case you want to find out more about a specific VPN option right here. But with what I've told you so far, you can use any one of these three to get more security and privacy on the internet, or you can use them in order to connect to different parts of the world and get access to content or websites that are not going to be available wherever you physically are located and may only be available somewhere else. On top of that, all three of these VPNs have an independently verified, audited, no logs policy, which means that nobody and not your government, your internet service provider, or even these VPNs themselves can know what you're doing online. Now, I did say I would speak about how you can go about choosing which one of these VPNs might be the best for you. And the basic rundown is going to be that ExpressVPN is the best overall option here, in my opinion. It's the simplest and most intuitive, but at the same time, it's very powerful. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. So if you want something that's simple, works right out of the box, and will have everything that you need for probably like 95% of the situations that you would be using a VPN, I would definitely just go with Express. Now, if you are somebody who wants a lot of features and wants to be able to customize your VPN exactly to your needs, then I would definitely recommend NordVPN. This one just comes with a ton of different options. You have specialty servers, for example, Onion over VPN, connecting you up to the Onion network, but going through the VPN, so nobody will even be able to know that you're connecting to the Onion network. They also have add-ons here like secure file transfers and MeshNet, which gives you a more secure remote desktop connection. And there's just a ton of other things to NordVPN. So if that's something that speaks to you and something you're looking for, then definitely try out Nord. And lastly, if you're on a budget and you want something high quality without breaking the bank, then Surfshark is the one that I would recommend. It's not as simple or as powerful as Surfshark in my opinion, and it definitely doesn't have as many features as NordVPN, but it is the cheapest of the three here. So if you want something that's inexpensive, but at the same time, a really good value, then try out Surfshark. And I did manage to get a hold of discount links for all three of these VPNs. You'll find that in the description below, and they all come with a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can use the discount link to get a good deal, and then you can use the 30 day money back guarantee to test out these VPNs and see if they work for you. And if it isn't what you're looking for, then all you have to do is contact customer support and request a refund and get your money back. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments below which VPN you decide to try out and how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.